just starting out with Aconex, this video will make your first experience with the Aconex interface and the document register smooth and simple. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Naresh Punia. I am a project quantity surveyor at AECOM in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. And in today's video, we are going to talk about the user interface of Aconex and the document register. But before we talk about the user interface, first let's discuss what is a document. In the context of a construction project, a document is something that defines requirement, what is to be done and how to do it. Think of the project drawing and specification. A document also defines the process and procedures. Think of contracts, manuals and reports. Now we have discussed what is a document, but why do we need to store that in Aconex? Well, if you are completely new to Aconex, I would suggest you watch the first video that I made about the Aconex, about the basics of Aconex. It will be linked somewhere here in the i button. But basically what Aconex does, it gives the access of every document that's uploaded to all the concerned person in real time. You get to know that who updated the document and at what time. And once the document is uploaded in Aconex, it cannot be deleted. With that out of the way, let me take you to the computer screen to show you the user interface of Aconex and give you a brief about the document register in Aconex. So when you'll open the Aconex, this will be the first screen you'll see. Before moving forward, I want to clarify one thing that I have used the inspect tool in my Aconex and changed the fields and then I've taken the screenshot because I'm working on a confidential project and I cannot reveal the information of my project. So with that out of the way, let me show you the interface of Aconex. So the first thing that you'll see is the country. This is the country where the project is set up. It could be United States. It could be Sri Lanka. It could be India. It could be uh, UAE. Then, then you'll have to input your email address, which is used at the time of setup of your account. And then you'll have to type your uh, password and sign in. Once you sign in, this will be the welcome screen that you will be seeing. The option that you are seeing right now can differ based on your role on a project, how the project is set up by the project admin, but we are concerned about the documents here. So we'll go to the document register. How you go to the document register? You just click on the drop down menu of documents and you can select document register. The other way to open the document register is by double clicking it. Now, once you are inside the document register, you will see all these information, right? And all these information are entered when these document was transmitted by someone or you have uploaded this document. Now, you have so many information. Some of these information are compulsory. You need to enter those information and some of the information are based on the project, right? Once, once the project admit, set up the project, then they decide that which information they need to take. Now I'll tell you what are the mandatory information that you need to put when you are uploading the document. You have to put the document number, you have to put the title, you have to put the revision, you have to put the status. These are the information that you need to put and the type. So document, title, type, revision status these are mandatory requirement you need to fill it why you fill so many details because when you want to search within your document register it's easy to search how you do it so if you scroll up then you see that you have the search box in the search box you can first of all search by the discipline you can search by anything. You can have multiple filters. I'm just showing you an example of filtering it by one value. So I'm filtering with the discipline. I just click on discipline and a drop down opens up. I can select the drop down or another way that I want to go to discipline. I just type the value there like AR is architecture. I just type it here and then I can press enter. Now, if you've seen here, there are 18,633 documents before we filtered. Now, if you see here, there are only 87 documents, right? 
so it is showing me 12 documents out of 87 documents and these are the documents which are having the discipline of architecture so this way you can use multiple filter and you can get to the document that you are looking at so this was a little something about document register and the user interface of aquinix i hope you liked it if you did give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video